Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm gonna get right to it. Hop into my island. Then we're gonna head over to the Crimson Isle. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Send out a ping to the people. Get everybody tuned in, and then we're chilling. Do tier fours now. Plus combat 60 tonight. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be hanging out. We're getting combat 60 tonight. We're going to do some tier four blaze gameplay. I have a setup that actually functions. I have my tier three daggers. Did a little grinding off camera and I got a tier five. So we're going to be able to actually have a good time. Hello, Dona. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is going to be a good time. I have one more 30 minute potion, so we're chilling with that. I probably get more afterwards, but uh, yeah, let me see about effects. How am I doing? I don't have a uh, gum bear active. That is fine. I can just grab one of my multiple millions of those. I wish you could stack them up higher in terms of the uh, total amount of time they last. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hey oh hey oh. We're just gonna be hanging out tonight, having a good time. As per usual. Probably make the music a little bit quieter. Is it wise to glind void gloom tier threes until E Man 7? You should get to do tier fours before you get to seven. Um once you're at six, you could probably get a setup to do tier fours to get to seven. Like, absolutely. That is not wise. I would not recommend that on anybody. That sounds like a, uh, a complete and total nightmare. Also, I have to lobby hop until I find a proper lobby to be in. Also, there's a Vanquisher here, so let's get that. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jade. How are you? Jade got out of the gym, and she wanted me to talk to her. So, this is my way of talking to her. It's being on stream. Is that guy still here? It actually doesn't look like he's fighting him on the little spot. Yoink. Just gonna yoink it for him. Woohoo, because then we both got XP. <laughs> well, they did updates on Tuesday, so why today? Today's not an update. Today was just a minor change. Uh, minor changes they do on Mondays sometimes. Like the super crafting update, that was on a Monday. Um, but that's not really a full update. That's just like a little change in the game, you know? Hello. Ow, <laughs> I got salt in the face with that. I will say, I've been having a lot of fun with this boss. I don't think anyone else is using the spot at the moment too, so I'm chilling. But off we go. The damage is significantly better, I gotta say. I very much enjoy the fact that I can actually, you know, do the boss at a normal, uh, at a normal rate of knots. And not have to suffer with it. A huge amount. Tier 4 is pretty enjoyable, man. I'm not even gonna lie, this boss is pretty fire. After I, I get a lot of these done, though, and I get to maybe 7 or 8, I'm off to grind E-Man, and then after that, Kudra. Kudra gameplay. Which I know is going to be a little a little bit difficult, but I'll figure it out. Gotta, like, run away from that. Okay. Cool. That was a little scary for a second there, but I ended up figuring it out. I hit 250 pests exchanged. That is very cool. Very, very cool Cobra. I have to get that, too. You just reminded me of that. Oh, I just I just walked into that and died. That was brain dead. I'm not even going to lie. That was bad of me. I was paying attention to what you said, Cobra. I actually want to do that right now because I walked right into that and I feel stupid. Anyway, let me go here and empty that out. Yippee. Okay, I can get that. Uh, check y'all's garden for visitors. Yeah. How are you going to combat 60? I'm just not. I'm not skilled enough for it. Uh, let's go here. Okay, cool. Funny ring. Awesome. 
that was not what I wanted to do. Put that back. Okay. Good marks me. Either stay fully on the floor or completely in a safe spot. Yeah. Yeah, I might just try to be completely on the floor from here on out. Floor gameplay might be a little bit more expedient for me. I am having more issue being up in the uh, upper areas than on the floor. But I was doing a lot of them last night and I was having a great time. I, I really do enjoy the boss quite a bit. Um, that was just embarrassing to fail like that on the first one of the stream. It, it really wasn't even because of anything other than just me walking into it. I just, I don't know. I wasn't paying proper attention. Floor is a lot more fun, but riskier. Yeah. What would we say is bare minimum gear for tier four blaze? Uh, tier two, th tier two daggers. Um, I mean, if you're like me, right? Uh, I was doing this with this setup. So two quarters sorrow, warden helmet, hot crimson, tier two daggers instead of tier three. And I have my wolf pet on, not my G drag. That was also why my damage was worse. I didn't realize I had the wolf pet on. That is unlucky. So I really wasn't doing nearly as much damage, and I didn't have the other benefits, so that's on me. Yeah, I, I just completely boofed that. Can you show me your gear, especially daggers? Sure, I'll show you daggers. Here are my tier 3 daggers. Both with swarm on them. They have the maxed out true defense. I have too much true defense, in my opinion. I have 257. If I right-click and I use SB menu, then I have 281 true defense. Which is, I think, too much. I can probably put on my crimson leggings, but, like, scary. I don't know if I really... If that'll really help me or hurt me more. Guys, is, three, is 300 true defense really enough, guys? Let's be real. Is it ever enough? <laughs> but, uh, you know, you understand the uh, overall point there. Oh my god, look, it's a pro. Incredible. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, kill my guy. Hold on, I wanna yoink him real quick. So that he's not bothering that guy. It's never enough, go for max TD. Listen, that's the, the idea behind what I'm going with so far. Why not have 10 trillion true defense? I really don't see the issue in the slightest. So is the bit with this spot that you can't actually get like fire uh, pitted from up here? Cause I like, I never really understood the reason why people use this spot, but is that really it? You can't get fire pitted from all the way up here? Yeah, oh, okay. I was always wondering why people use this spot at all, but that makes sense. Yeah, you can't get fire pitted. That's so interesting. The skull you were inside stops it. Oh, okay. I never really noticed that. I won't use this forever, but like, that is, that is interesting. Yeah, you are just able to completely avoid that mechanic. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yep. Well, there we go. <laughs> I didn't realize it would be that easy. I always thought the spot was just for avoiding the laser, and I'm like, this is cool, but like, it isn't like game changing or anything like that. But now I understand. Okay. Thank you for explaining that, chat. Also, hello, Cover. 902 MP. That's very cool. What do you think the odds are of drags tomorrow? Oh. I don't think the odds are very high. I'd be pleasantly surprised if they were tomorrow. I don't think it's a super high odds at the moment, though. Lux Quasi to return to you faster. Interesting. Builder's skull here looks cool. Yeah. That had a lot of repercussions. Yeah, that spot's pretty crazy. <laughs> now that I think about it, it really is insane that it's never been patched out. Um, because that really is a nuts spot, all things considered. Like, I'm not going to complain about it. But, um, that is crazy.
I'm really enjoying this very relaxing gameplay. Is Jade still in chat? Is she still chilling here? Hello, Jade, if you are still here. I only have 14 here, so cookie buff on two accounts, guys. For real. Only 37 years of cookie buff, guys. I mean, why wouldn't you have that much cookie buff? Only. <laughs> you know, I'm firmly in the belief that a uh, magic find is actually a myth and it does nothing. It's actually a lie made up by the government to get people to uh, invest lots of money in it. Clover helmet bros, it ain't real. Hate to break it to you. That was the facts. Pray to RNG Jesus, oh yeah. True, magic find is a myth. True! I mean, I've gotten a drop without much magic find before. That basically means it's fake and isn't real. If you think about it. Man, this spot really is crazy. I never really thought about it until this moment. I didn't realize the full potential of it. This is very, very silly. Also, ow, I just got knocked out of it. This is so sad. I don't think Primal Update will be uh, tomorrow, by the way, chat. I'm gonna keep it real. I do not think it's happening tomorrow. What mod do you have for Fire Pillar? I think... I, I don't know. Maybe SBE? It might be an SBE thing, but I'm uncertain about that. Yippee. Free stuff. Man, this is crazy. You think it's next Tuesday? Yeah, I imagine they would put it back on Alpha. Also, that was kind of him. <laughs> to give me the buff there for a second. I was super kind of that guy. He did not need to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when the update for Primals is going to be. I, I think it's going to be really good for the game whenever it does come out. I, I just... I think they should just release it, honestly. Even if there are minor bugs with it, I'd rather them just put it out there for the people to actually analyze and, and do stuff with. And they can make changes to it later, especially in terms of balancing. It's just more worthwhile. To have something out there. Last major combat related update was like, I don't know, last June-ish with Rift, and that's about it. Unlucky. <laughs> Refraction might return to do drags. That's probably true. He will probably be back for that. How do you not have combat 60? Dude, I'm 96% of the way there. Come on. You gotta understand. It's all part of the strat. You are level 320, basically? Yeah. I'm pretty excited about getting level 320. That's a cool goal to, uh... To finally get ready to hit. <laughs> D1 instigator. Get that foraging up? Yeah, my foraging is uh, not good. I agree with you that the foraging skill that I, I currently possess is not good at the moment. Also, what is wrong with this guy? You need to get out of there, bud. I'm sorry, big guy.
Got a cat of 54 friend with combat 52. That ain't even possible, bro. How are you combat 52 and cat of 50? That seems like actually impossible. You get so much kata, or not kata, combat XP in dungeons. That just seems crazy, man. Oh, I just, I pressed the wrong button. That's a, that's rough. I'm not even gonna lie. I pressed the wrong button. Misclicked hotkey. Die. <laughs> that's terrible. I, I actually am embarrassed about that one, too. Unlucky. <laughs> Why do you not just swap to log leggings in third phase for extra damage in the first two? I can do that. I probably will from now on. I, I just didn't realize that my uh, healing would outdo it, which would be... I don't know. I, I didn't really... Originally, I struggled a lot with tier fours because of the damage that the boss gave. I didn't think I would be capable of actually wearing like only one quarter piece, but I guess you're so right that I could just do this and I'm chilling. And I do way more damage, too. You mean use three-fourths crimson? Yeah, I don't know about three-quarters crimson. But, uh... At the very least, I might make my sets go from Sorrow to Ancient. It might just be more worthwhile. Renowned isn't really giving me a crazy boost at the moment. They should add auto-restart failed Slayer as a QOL. I agree with that. That'd be cool. Sometimes I just skill issue, I, I just click the wrong button, it happens. Especially if I'm like looking at chat and like trying to pay attention to something going on there. That's not an excuse, it's just like, that's how it be sometimes, you know? You click the wrong button and then you're, you're cooked. I do really like the design of the boss though, it's, it's genuinely really fun. Even when I'm not sitting here and, and using the silly goofy strat because, I don't know. I don't want to die as much on stream. Off stream, I tend to actually try to like get down there and really fight the boss, and it's pretty enjoyable when you actually do it like that. They should make it so you can't spawn somebody else's boss. I think that's not a bad idea. I feel like it could be utilized in such a way where it could potentially be abused, and that would be a little silly. I don't know how it would potentially be abused, but I feel like if you were able to have that knowledge of, like, when you could spawn someone's boss, or, like, uh, whether a boss could be spawned, rather, I think you could do some stuff with it. What's good? What's up? How are you doing? How's everyone in chat doing today? Everyone doing good? I hope everyone's doing fine. The guy has to walk all the way over here. One. There we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I just realized I was three minutes behind. Man. Unlucky. Unlucky, Jade. Should have not been three minutes behind. Jade, are you watching this spot right now? This is the silliest, goofiest thing I've ever done in this game. Just avoiding everything, man. Also, there's some potions. Guys, just a couple potions, guys. I gotta go brew those together. Hold on one second. <laughs> no. Man, are you cheesing it? Yeah. That's what you gotta do. It's just the strat, apparently. Put these in... Uh, these are all five minutes as well. Uh... Listen, it's the way. It's the way forward. I'll lower the music a little bit because it is a little high. Hey, you said you wouldn't? I'm doing it only because it's on stream. I actually have done it, like, more than a couple times without cheesing at all. If it's the fastest way to get XP and also allows me to talk to chat, I win. So I'll take it. Guerrilla Tactics meta was the goofiest. Yeah, I saw someone one-shot it on stream for me the other day, which I thought was so silly and goofy. 
very funny. Um, but also, like, how did he even do that? I'm gonna keep it real. So there's some 30 minute potions. Froggers. Hello, Froggers. What's poppin'? Look at that. That is good. We go to over here, and we have a lot of um, distillate as well. Grab another 30 minute potion out of here. And I'll bring all these over to get melted into free crimson essence. Duralius, can I call you dead? No. No, you cannot, sadly. That's not something you can do, sadly. I'm only 20 years old, man. I, I can't be called a father yet. Oh, yeah, it's you. Sorry, you can't. I apologize. <laughs> Oh, we got a Rift expansion? Yeah, I was talking with Banana not too long ago, like, in his stream. Um, I was basically talking about, uh, I want to buff your damage, thank you, Minotaur. You can, you can buff my damage. I was talking with him about how Rift would have been way better received if they dropped it, like, I don't know, in 2019, 2020 and not 2023 because it came out right and and everyone was kind of like all right this is cool and then now it's been like a year and it's not finished technically or it, as banana likes to believe that it, it's never going to be um the mountaintop's not really going to be a real thing and then on top of that there's no progression really in the rift you know you don't you don't really get stronger throughout it you kind of do in the form of armor but like it's such a niche way to get stronger that it doesn't really actually add anything to the gameplay loop. Um, nor does it, you know, seem unique. Why does he think it's not going to be thing, uh, be a thing? Because there's kind of a bit at the end of the rift where it's like, they're like, oh, you know, it'll Mountaintop will be out in three to five business days, which was like the meme that they already told about, um, you know, the rest of the rift to begin with. So if anything, it's years off was his point. Um, it wasn't something that they were intending on releasing, like, immediately. Which, like, if true, is very sad, you know? Because, like, I don't know, I like the Rift, personally. I think the Rift's very, very cool. And I think the lack of information and update in terms of, of content about it has been sad, you know? I really enjoyed it. I, I really think that they should have finished it off so that people could be, you know, done with it. And then they're, they're chilling. They don't have to worry about it anymore. But, um... They didn't actually do that, and I think people are... I think annoyed would be the word. Annoyed would definitely be the word. People are not very happy with the current situation of things. Um, at least with regard to the Rift. Which I agree with. I mean, I think the Rift was really cool, but, like, you can't release content that's unfinished and, and kind of imply that the finish will never happen for them, you know? Also, ow. Okay. Let me just, like, whoop. Okay. Well, I was gonna do that, but, uh, I have to, like, move real quick. Let me just... There we go. Vamp has to be a sign of what's to come. I mean, yeah, I hope that they took, like, everything that they talked about and wanted to do, and they, and they put all that together, and they make a really banger, you know, foraging update or whatever else they decide to go for. But, like, at the same time, I can't deny the fact that, like, I don't know, the fact that there is no completion for the Rift kind of sucks. It just it just kind of seems rough, you know? It's just this major piece of content that's unfinished. And who knows when it'll be done, you know? Mini Clone hasn't said nothing about it. I don't think it's going to be a Dante Event Part 2 either. I, I think that's a cope. I, I really think that if they wanted to do anything major with it, it would have been done already. And it just isn't. And that sucks. It really does suck. Goodbye, big guy. Yeah, Mini Clune's gone. You know, he's not a dev anymore. I I don't think a Rift Dungeon counterpart will happen. That's way too much work. Um, I think, if anything, we see Mountaintop at some point in the far future, and that's it. And we see nothing else about Rift ever again. Like... I, I can't imagine we see a dungeon or anything like that. It, it just takes too much development time. I mean, think about how long it took them to make regular dungeons. And that's like, 
without having to constantly also be focusing on the move to 1.20. Yeah, Skyblock is not in its golden age anymore. Like, foraging is really make or break for a lot of people. If foraging drops and it's a dud, people are going to be pissed. People are going to be furious. And, and they're going to stop playing, and I won't even blame them. Like, I don't know. You can't sustain the game on nothing but quality of life updates and fire sales. You can't do it. It's just not how this game was meant to exist or work. I don't think primals will be tomorrow. I, I think primals will be in a week or two. I think primals are a great thing by, for the game, by the way. I think they'll do a lot to bring people back, at least temporarily. Give us a couple months of breathing room, at least. But I don't think they're the permanent solution, you know? I, I think getting content into 1.20 is the solution. Doing If they dropped this year, right, um, foraging update and slayer tier fives for every other slayer type, I, I think we'd be chilling going into 2025. I think all the community complaints would go away for at least a while. They just, they just have to do just that. Tier five slayers for the other, other slayers in the game right now that aren't, you know, currently tier fiveable and foraging update. And then they could start focusing on another island. I don't know whatever that other island would be. Maybe it could be a quest themed some like island or something silly. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, if they do that, then we're chilling, big chilling. Yeah, and you know they could also do 1.20 collections and stuff like that. Add a few minions here and there. Add some stuff to previous islands and add some bonus content into, you know, make the move more logical. Yeah, they could definitely do that. That probably wouldn't even take that much development time, relatively, which is the craziest part. You know, relatively, that would be, you know, some of the easier things to add. I imagine making a minion is not the, the most difficult process in the world. <laughs> um, or else they wouldn't do it so frequently. Windcraft is cool. I, I really do suggest, though, if you're someone who's bored of Skyblock specifically, check out Monumenta um, in the newer versions as well. You can kind of get a, a check on that uh, and see if you enjoy it. I don't currently dev for them, and I'm not, like, sponsored or anything like that. This is just my personal opinion. Um, but when I did dev for them, like, we made a lot of good stuff. And you can even see some of my content in there, which is cool. If you care about me in the slightest. <laughs> I had fun on Monumenta. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope that, um, you know, eventually we can get back into it. I don't imagine it'll be anytime soon, but they're doing really good for themselves, which is, uh, I don't know, it's nice to hear every once in a while that they're doing good still. They very much have taken the lessons I have taught them, like, marketing-wise to heart. Their marketing team style is much better than it used to be. I'm very impressed with their stuff nowadays. If they move to 1.20 for only some islands, um, then what happens to the rest of the server if they get access to a 1.20 item? Um, they probably have contingencies in place for that. I think foraging is going to drop with it being only a 1.20 at first. And maybe having a separate inventory item system between 1.8 and 1.20 islands. And then quickly the rest of the game moving to, you know, 1.20 uh, would be the goal. As quick as possible. The hard part would be getting foraging out at all. The easy part after that is getting the rest of the server moved over. If they can make something work in 1.20, getting the rest of the game to work is not going to be that bad. Like, unironically. The hardest part is getting the server infrastructure to actually operate. And once they're able to do that, once they get something like forging out, then they are chilling, relatively. Yeah, Warframe's good. Modded Terraria's also pretty good. Me and Jade have been playing a lot of Hearts of Iron 4. Um, the Commander's, like, mod where you're able to, like... It's more competitive. I really like that mod, and uh, it gives me a like a new lease on that game. I very much like Hearts of Iron. I think it's a uh, a very good grand strategy game. Been playing a lot of Victoria Three as well, which I think is a very solid grand strategy game, and it's also getting a DLC fairly soon, which is super cool. Big fans uh, of Victoria Three myself. Jade's not really, <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you like it, Jade. Forging update will be player skulls with skins that make it look like the actual item. Yeah, that might be what they do. I don't know how big MCCI is. Um, I haven't seen much about them. I don't think it can become the next Hypixel without a Skyblock equivalent. 
I mean, look at what happened to Tubnet, dude. Like, Tubnet collapsed. Completely collapsed. Would like me to show you a better spot? I'm chilling in this spot. I feel like if I try to learn anything else right now, my brain's gonna explode. I, I apologize. <laughs> We are both 20, indeed. I love being 20. It's an excellent experience, I will say. Um, other than having to apply for internships, that is not... And then not getting the internships, that is also not good. <laughs> Stay there the entire time, too. It'll drastically reduce your boss times. Yeah. I'm just chilling here. I'm trying to get the boss times as quick as possible so I can get to uh, tier 7. Tier 7 blaze is going to be very nice. What does tier 7 blaze give? Um, a few upgrades, a lot of skyblock XP. I'm really doing this stuff for skyblock XP more than anything else. I don't even know what I would get from here that would uh, bump me up further. That 125 XP is really nice, though. Yippee! Duplex! That's profit. <laughs> what does duplex do? Let's see. An extra arrow. That's cool. Yeah, the extra tier 3 dagger bump I get is really nice in terms of uh, getting tier 6. SOS Flare has become quite cheap. Has it really? What do you consider cheap? That is pretty cheap. That is surprisingly cheap. I did not expect it to be that cheap. That is... What's plasma cost? That's about- that's not even, like, significantly different than Plasma Flux cost. I mean, it is, but, like, damn, that's crazy. It's cheap for SOS flares, yeah. That's pretty cheap. I might consider getting one of those, then. If I start farming up a bunch of money, I- I- I, I still need more money. I'm at, like, I'm down a billion coins in the last week. Not really down, it's- it went right back into my net worth, but still. SOSs were, like, three bill at one point. They were comically expensive. They were very, very, very expensive. Plasma Flux is greater than SOS. Hmm. I don't know about that for, for Blaze specifically. For everything except Blaze, yeah. I already have Plasma Flux though, so I'm not really worried about that. Currently in po possession of a Plasma Flux. The music, damn. The good one. Yeah, I like this music. I tried- I made a custom little playlist, um, for streams. I might add further Minecraft-related music. Maybe I'll add a little music suggestion area of my Discord for people. Um, just to add, like, you know, copyright-free music I can play during stream. This is Other Side by, uh, Lena Rain. Her music is so good. I love Lena Rain. The Celeste soundtrack is really good as well. Flare is greater than Flux. Fair enough. There's a lot of, uh, disagreement seemingly then. So I appreciate Minotaur for just standing by and helping out. You do not need to if you do not want to. I believe I have this handled, but, uh... I don't know, I appreciate you helping out regardless. It's very kind of you. You're just coping for your money loss. Real. I love losing money. Who doesn't love losing money?
Crab Champions. Best in game music. Interesting. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yippee. Free Glowstone Distillate. Who doesn't love Glowstone Distillate? That voice crack ain't it, Chief? Listen, man. I'm Combat 60. What about you? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize I got that. Very, very cool. Yippee, Combat 60. Woohoo, it's done. I never have to think about it again. That 1% extra combat, or no, not combat, um, 1% extra damage against the mobs, yeah. That's funny. Bro got me with that combat 60 flex. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Now do tier 5 blaze. Real. Imagine it was a real thing. Did Marina get elected? Um. Well, I don't know, actually. I, I haven't been able to check. I can probably check on the uh, little events tab. Well, let me just... It is Scorpius still, but... She'll be our elected in about four hours. Four hours till Marina gameplay. Very cool. Also, ow. Just died instantly. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, man. I'm pretty happy about that. Combat 60 has been a personal insecurity for a while. It is done now, though. I don't have to think about it ever again. Woohoo. Still no 4080. What do you mean, still no 4080? Like, GeForce 4080? RTX? Yeah. Red Mini is actually harder than the boss itself. You're so real for saying that. That's so real. RTX. I have a uh, 3060. What? You sound half dead inside with that woohoo, but you're playing Skyblock, so that makes sense. You understand. You get it. That makes sense, I think. A woohoo and perhaps even a yippee. That is a... This guy's gonna one-shot me again, watch. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. I lied. Fishing 31? I'm not a fishing fan, bro. Leave me be about fishing. I, I just can't get into it, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Fishing is kind of frustrating for me because I just don't like how little XP the um, the fish, the trophy fish give. I feel like it's kind of silly. They give like no XP relatively. For real, I need more true defense. That's the solution to my problems is more true defense. In reality, I should probably put ancient on my armor, but I'm coping. Absolutely coping. Get a Sub-Zero Wisp? I don't know about that. I'm gonna be real. It's interesting. The price of a lot of items in Skyblock that I already have or is going up. And the price of a lot of items which I don't already have are going down. It's very useful for me. It's making it very easy to purchase a ton of garbage I don't need. Apex has gone down, yeah. Your issue is true defense. I just need 10 trillion true defense, guys. Real. You understand. So there's another smoldering blaze. Bump up there. I love Skyblock XP from smoldering blazes. God rolls becoming cheaper. I think that's just a, a side effect of more people getting into things like Kudra. As more people get into Infernal and like figure it out and like more people release guides and stuff like that and more parties are made then uh, of course the prices of those you know items are, are gonna fall by a significant margin you know. 
Every set that's created is another set in the wild. And that means that uh, that player will now have access to gear, which will make them significantly stronger and significantly more able to create more copies of that gear for other players. It's a cool system. It's a good system. Should you play Fortnite? I don't know about that one, Chief. No, because of Museum? I, I don't think that uh, Museum really significantly changes that outlook. I think things are, I don't know, generally, I don't know. People are more likely to put a crap piece of gear in the museum than a, a great piece of, of gear. Obviously, when someone, you know, gets a set they really like, they might put that in the museum themselves. But, uh, obviously, as it gets upgraded, it's different. Hop on Lethal. Yeah, big Lethal Company enjoyer. I mean, I museum everything, too. I, I just don't think that um, what you said really applies for god rolls. People don't tend to god roll. Or take their god rolls and just put it in the museum willy-nilly. There's at least a little thought that goes into that. Yippee. Free stuff. Hello, 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 hello. Probably do this for a little while longer. We're down to 7,500 uh, XP remaining on our tier 7, which is pretty good. Or 75,000, right? Yeah, 75,000. Still not that bad. It's about 100 and something bosses. Starring Armor Soul Binds It. I understand what you mean by that. I just think that, like, for collections specifically, for museums specifically, people are very unlikely to buy expensive god roll gear and put it in the museum immediately people are very likely instead to buy trash for the cheapest possible price and just throw it in the museum because that trash is like a quarter of the price i don't know that's what i did i just bought garbage um obviously it becomes soul bind or soul bound over time but the reason why go like god roll prices are falling in general is because more are being created than being utilized by the economy because unlike something like a hype not everyone in this game right now needs a god roll piece of crimson gear, you know? Whereas a hype, theoretically, would help everybody. Obviously, if they had the, you know, ability of using it. Uh, you know, not taking into account, like, whether they've done M7 or whatever. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, big guy. Please. Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh. Scary. Anyway, yeah, that's my uh, point for the day. Crimson is basically built around Hyperion, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, I guess you can gyro them. That's so smart. I didn't even think about that. I'll probably grab my gyro out then. Spoon enjoyer. I have a spoon now. The funny spoon I spent way too much money on. It was pretty worth it, I'm not even gonna lie. It's gonna go up after Scorpius dips anyway. Absolutely gaming. I like the guy who commented shit game. You know what? It's your opinion, brother. <laughs> that is your thoughts and your opinions. Woohoo, I love Netherrack looking sunshade. I love it. Might actually not get a hype if I have the funds, simply because I enjoy LCM. I, I think you should still get a hype. Hypes are pretty useful, I'm not even going to lie to you. They're, they're utilizable in almost every piece of content this game has to offer. It's really crazy how much of this game is made easier using a Hyperion. It is a significant difference in like most content, you know what I mean? 
Need it for LCM anyway, yeah. And stone sword, Lamel. Real. You think summoning eyes are a good investment right now? I don't think they've been a great investment since a couple days after the primal stuff started. I I think that I don't know, investing in them at the moment is kind of like a fool's errand. But I mean if you're gonna, you're gonna. Also, ow, that guy just murders you. Unironically does more damage than the boss. It's crazy. Also, my boss has spawned. Oops. I'll get over there soon, guys. Don't worry. I hope you enjoy the low-energy Duralius streams. They're, uh, certainly something. There's my big guy. Hello, big guy. Sorry to keep you waiting. They have 1.6 mil now. I would say, yeah. That's not that bad. I, I actually would say, yeah, around that price. I think they're going to significantly rise when the uh, update drops, whenever that will be. I don't know when it will be. It could be tomorrow, it could be in a week, it could be in a month. But uh, whenever that ends up occurring, it'll be a significant difference. As long as you're doing okay. Yeah, I'm just low energy, just tired. Busy week up ahead, busy week behind me. It's nice to getting a little bit of relaxation by doing this, you know? This is kind of my relaxation for the week. Would I ever stream Balloons Tower Defense 6? I don't think so. I don't think I would really stream anything other than Skyblock anytime soon, if I'm being completely real. Congratulations on the foraging level up. Who doesn't love foraging? Am I right? Big foraging enjoyer. be for yourself. Yeah, foraging is pretty nice. I don't disagree. Also, another smoldering book. Woohoo. Uh, let me go. Anvil. You'd be smoldering too. Loot shared smoldering. You see, it was worth it for you. <laughs> this was all worth it, Minotaur. Do you play Skyblock for fun? Or because you want to grind the channel with Skyblock content? Because it's... Seems like just for channel. Um, I play Skyblock because... I actually do like the game. Like... I do like Blaze. I'm not the most high energy right now, but that's just because I'm not the most high energy right now. Like, I was playing Hearts of Iron earlier, and I really enjoyed that game, and I wasn't really, like, you know, flipping out every two seconds and having, like, a pog face reaction to the gameplay. Um, obviously, I care about the channel. Like, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't my income and it wasn't, like, my source of money. Um, but I don't just play the game because I need to for the channel. Like, I had, I had not played for a year or two in the middle of this channel existing, and I chose willingly to not make the money from it. Even though financially that was a poor decision, I did it because I wasn't having fun. Um, although I would say now I am having quite a bit of fun. I'm, I'm very much enjoying it, you know? How does this work? Let's see. I think this will... Uh, I'm trying to see something real quick. Okay, never mind. Didn't need to die there. Yeah, a lot of the complaints about this game are really people who want the game to be better. Like, myself included. I really want this game to be, like, popping off. I would love nothing more than for 100,000 people to log on every day. Um, you know. I, I don't understand. I, I, I really wish that this game were bigger. I feel like a lot of people would really like it. And I feel like it's not bad to, to play at all. I think it's it's really fun at the moment. But I do think it has its issues, and I want to I wanna be candid about those issues. Also, ow, I just died again. That is rough. Real.
Fair. I found the game just makes my hours waste after growing up wasting too much time for, like, a goofy one strength. Yeah, that's totally reasonable. I very much understand the argument that this game is a time waster for people who don't, you know, who don't see it as a job. Like, if I wasn't doing this game as a job for YouTube, I probably would play it a lot less. Um, and that's just because I, I've, I've been out of my phase of playing grindy games for a long time in my life, you know? But it makes me money. It, it, it is stable. It is sufficient. It is fun. So I'm going to keep doing it for my job for at least the time being, you know? Maybe not forever, but at least for a while. Nothing wrong with that. Imagine I had a bi-weekly dev log explaining and goals and... All right, sorry. Imagine they had a bi-weekly dev log explaining tasks and goals and planning and teasing updates. Skyblock wouldn't be in this situation. I agree with you. I agree with you. I wish we got literally anything about the foraging update. Yep, I understand, yeah. It's just, you know, it's how life is sometimes. You gotta do things even if they're not the most enjoyable thing in the moment. Um, just to put dinner on the table. And um, that's Skyblock for me. But I will say I'm much more fortunate than the vast majority of people who work in jobs that they absolutely despise and they, they don't have fun in it at all, you know? Um, I'm lucky to have even a little bit of fun in my job. I'm lucky that I get to do this at all and I have you guys to thank for it. So, I, I do appreciate all of your support, obviously. Uh, everyone in chat. Even the tiniest bit of info would be good. I agree. I, I really think they could do better in giving the community info. I, I don't understand what's the, the meaning behind the lack of information or knowledge given to the community. It's kind of... It's really kind of frustrating at this point. A bi-weekly log that says, hey, we want to change the combat, or hey, we want to focus on this thing before foraging. Yeah, like a weekly update system, kind of like the way Destiny does things. Tell me any improvements I can do. Hmm. What's your true defense, like, with your blaze setup? There are five. It's the fancy man with the suit. I don't think I'm fancy at all. Also, Jade really does motivate me uh, to make this content. 146 right now without warning flare. That's certainly not bad. MP, question mark. Nine seventeen. also not bad. You can def do it. If you need to use the cheese spot, there's no harm in it for attempting it the first few times. I'd recommend trying to bump up MP a bit more and maybe using two for sorrow. Yeah. Takes that long to die. <sighs> Cheese spot isn't bad at all. Yeah, I, I know some people don't like it, and I myself am, am personally against like using it long term because I, I want to you know learn the the fight in full and be able to you know get down there and do it. But I, I mean, after seeing it, if it's that easy and if it's that beneficial to the players, then I'd say just use it. Absolutely use it. Use it if you need to. Yoink. I didn't mean to yoink that guy's thing. I'm not going to kill it for him. There, he can kill it. I did not mean to yoink it from him. <laughs> okay, this one's mine. <laughs> there we go. I'll stop. I try. Well, thank you. Anyway, me and Jade are going to try, potentially, to get another channel member video out this week we'll have to think about it what we want to do if anything we'll just sit down and do another tier list we really like doing those they're kind of silly and goofy what is your enchanted quartz what oh 
Oh, you can kill him? Okay. Very cool. What do you think about the duper trooper duping on Skyblock a few years back? I think uh, doing that is silly. Uh, I think that duping in general on Minecraft servers is kind of like, I don't know, non-content. I think it's kind of silly and goofy. You're not going to cause any long-term change to happen. Um, it's just people with too much time on their hands. Like, what can I say beyond that? It, that's really all it is. It's You have too much time on your hands, and you need to get back to 2P2, 2B2T. Like, that's about it. It's the 2B2T player's excuse. I, I don't think Skyblock is pay to win. I, I don't think those arguments apply in a non-PVP game. And I very much think the way Skyblock has handled things has allowed them to expand the development team and potentially keep the game online. We don't know what the situation was like at the Hypixel, you know, uh, company headquarters to cause them to make a decision like that in the first place. And I, I think taking action on your own without even considering the fact that, like, yeah, corporations suck, but, like, also, Hypixel has never really been greedy. I feel like, you know, they could have done a lot more, and they, they chose willingly not to because they didn't want to anger the player base. Support your job, by the way. Just talking with player POV, I feel like, like, I do play this game for fun, or am I watching, or wasting my time with no fun? But, yeah, some players can find this fun, but I believe... Usually young players love this because they are in the real life and they can easily find time to play, but when you grow up, it isn't as much fun. I agree. I agree with that. Very much agree with that. Um, that's the big problem, you know? You grow up and, and now the things that you enjoyed when you were younger aren't really nearly as fun as they used to be. Or at least as fun as you remember them. And that sucks. That really sucks. It's a sad feeling to feel, but um, it's true, you know? It's just how it is sometimes. The more fire sales, the better. I don't even think fire sales are greedy. It's it's literally just like cosmetic. I don't know. And any other MMO, no one would complain. It's the most like not damaging or pay to win thing ever. Like who cares? Such a non-issue in my opinion. Yeah. Arrow trading is still there. Sack of inflation, yeah. Skyblock is profitable for them. They will try and keep it going for longer. Yeah, and they will they will have incentive to actually expand upon it. I really do think the fundamental problems we're having right now are because the server is not in the new version of Minecraft, and they're spending a lot of development time and resources trying to get that version to 1.20. Once they're able to do that, I think we're going to start seeing updates of more significant size and of more frequency, um, which will be great. You know, apparently we're just getting the first island of the foraging update, which I find kind of crazy. Can you imagine that? Just first island? First island of the foraging update. It's nuts. It's nuts. But, um, it's, it's seemingly how it's going to be. I don't really need those six-minute potions. Um, I don't even really need the 30 minutes, I'm not even gonna lie. 30 minutes have not really been doing much for me. Maybe I can sell the potions. How much do these sell for on Auction House? Wisp. Let's see, Wisp. Is there like a... Nah, it doesn't seem like they're on there. When do you think Skyblock will roll out into 1.20? Uh, this year, I hope. I I have no idea. Um, I'm skeptical of whether or not they'll be able to do it, but I don't see any other options. If it if we get to one or like 2025 and there is no foraging update and we got no major content this year, I think they're cooked. I think they're really cooked. I don't know what to say beyond that. Like, how are you, how was your last major piece of content rift in the middle of 2023 at that point? Like, if we go this entire year and all we got was, like, pest improvements, QOLs, and maybe primals, I'm gonna be pretty friggin' disappointed, man. I'm gonna be very disappointed. I don't know, as we start getting into April, you might see a video or two from me that's, like, pretty negative. Um, and that's because I'm very disappointed with the way that they're handling things thus far. 
Even this year, they said 2024, early 2024, we'll probably get foraging on alpha. Nothing. All right, where is it? Like, if, you're, if it's not going to be out and there's a reason behind that, let us know what it is. What's wrong? What is the problem? Like, let us know. I don't think anyone's going to be mad if they just tell us, like, hey, we're having more issues than we expected. The total radio silence, though, is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. That's just my opinion on it. Look at Destiny 2. Game plagued, plagued with development issues. Plagued with them. Like, frequently. Ten years, uh, ten years time, there's been multiple delays of content. This game struggles probably more than any other game that I've ever heard of. Right? It struggles so much. And yet, the, uh, the developers of Destiny 2 still come out on a weekly basis and they talk to the community. They're waiting for the last day of early 2024. That's today. Tomorrow's the first day of spring. That's the last day. <laughs> early 2024 to me feels like, you know, winter 2024. So the winter part of the year up till the start of spring. Tomorrow's spring. The 19th is the first day of spring. Like, where is it? <laughs> you know, I, I, I hate to be a Debbie Downer about this. But like, Christ almighty. No information. Q1 would be end of March. Even then, at the very last tail end part of the, the year. It's like, oh man, what, what a crazy, you know, update. I, I don't know. Just frustrated. Just frustrated, man. I, I, I want to support. I want to love this game. And I want to, you know, I want it to do so good. But it's so hard. So hard actively rooting for the admins when they just make decisions that make no sense like what's the purpose of just not telling the community anything for months i don't know i'm gonna stop being negative now because people do not like me being negative but it's just like whatever now nah, bro it's the 21st i think the first day of spring this year is earlier because of um we had a leap year this year CSGO Valve has the worst communication. I don't even think that's nearly as bad, if I had to honestly say it. I think they still release updates. That's a big difference. And pretty solid ones at that. Also, ow, what is happening? That really hurt. That's <laughs> the 1.20. Do you think many players um, will play that don't play on the older versions, mainly younger adults? Yes. I think that's going to bring a lot of people to the game when we move to a new version. My pet nearly killed you. It's all good. Don't worry. You're fine, man. I appreciate the assistance at all. Also, there is a lot of free potions on the ground. Very cool. Mentoring Valve for bad communication. As an example, instead of TF... Or, or CSGO as an example, instead of TF2 is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. What do you think about combat XP duping? I didn't even know that was a thing. I think people should report dupes. Everyone will benefit from new versions. Yeah, I agree. They are way better in performance and stability. Yep. The main problems people have is they're like, why can't I load into a regular, you know, 324 or 328 Minecraft world with bamboo everywhere and not get 180 frames per second? Why do I lag? Well, that's why, you know, you're not going to have that issue on Skyblock. Don't worry. Accidentally sold entire sack trying to refill before you, man. Man. Frames are going to suck. They're not. They're not going to suck. Your frames are going to be fine. If your computer's not 15 years old, you're going to be fine. Can you load into a regular 1.20 super flat world? If so, you'll be fine. Like, I, I don't know. There's going to be so much more they can do. Other things are also just so much more optimized. I'm going to be real. It's not like loading into a regular Minecraft world and going in spectator and then going underneath the world so you can see every single cave system. It's not going to be like that. Plus, there's so many, like, optimization mods. I don't know. Oh, man. 
More FPS, no mods. Yeah, exactly. Windcraft is not a bad example of what Skyblock will be like in 1.20, except I feel like the Skyblock team could probably do more on a yearly basis because of how many people there are paying and the fact that they are all paid. Sodium port for Forge? I don't know. Just run... I don't know. Sodium's good. Um, there's another mod as well that's really good. It's not just Sodium. I forget its name. Yippee, I love netherrack looking sunshade, my favorite item in the game. Entity culling mods, yeah, you could do a lot of stuff with that. Also, ow, I'm gonna die. Never mind, I'm not gonna die. Build different. Totally didn't get any assistance there. Thank you, by the way, Minotaur. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, King of Performance is Sodium, yeah. I'm aware of that. Sodium is pretty nice. I don't know. Things will be fine. 1.20 will not be bad for your frame rate. You will be able to handle it. The biggest problem is whether Hypixel's end can handle it. Can those servers handle 1.20? And the answer is, I hope, yes. I just wish we knew what was going on there, man. I wonder. I wonder not just because it's my job, and it's my job to wonder, but I wonder because I'm genuinely a little concerned. I hope they're not having, like, a huge comical amount of issues there. We're gonna be three-weeking until GTA 6 is out. You're so real, man. You're so real for saying that. No response. Sorry. What did you say? 1.20 is much more optimized than 1.8 nowadays. If you know anything about the backend of MC... You would know that the only reason most servers haven't updated is because it's hard and nobody likes 1.8 or 1.20 PvP. That is true. That is the reason. Um, Monumenta is super optimized. Like, it's very impressive how optimized they're able to get it with, like, the way that they have everything set up. I'm, I'm impressed every day about it. Monumenta is, is awesome. And they're able to run, you know, way bigger dungeons, way bigger areas with perfect frame rates, no loss in control whatsoever. It's awesome. Awesome stuff. I really, I really appreciate the work they do. Chris, I'm coming home soon. That's awesome. Yeah. Natal 1.8 PvP, and I would take any other PvP than it. Yeah, I think there's a lot they can do in terms of 1.20 PvP. I think, like, large-scale battles are a lot more interesting in 1.20 than 1.8. I think, like, single 1v1 PvP is still obviously better in 1.8, though. Um, but you can make middle grounds work in, in newer versions of Minecraft. You can also change around the PvP in 1.20 to make it similar to 1.8. So, I feel like it's kind of a non-argument in the end of the day. It's like a, you know, not really a big deal. There's a lot they could do. I just, I don't know what's happening. I hope we get an answer soon. If tomorrow I wake up and foraging is on alpha, I will literally lose my mind. It would be the greatest day of my life. Do you play any other games? Nope. Nope, I do not. Just a big skywalk enjoyer. That isn't true. I play a lot of Hearts of Iron. I play Destiny 2. I play Warframe. I just lied for clout. <laughs> I play a lot of games, if I'm being completely real. They need the 1.8 PvP in their MMORPG. Real. As long as they preserve um, stonking, then I'm okay with whatever they do. I think they just should make it a feature at that point. Are you going to play Final Shape? Yeah, I am. I'm probably not going to play much after Final Shape, though. Final Shape's probably where I draw the, you know, line. I've had enough being <laughs> abused by Bungie. Year in, year out. Every year they tell me, listen, Aurelius, you're going you're gonna to have all your problems fixed this expansion. 
And then they show us a really cool trailer, and I'm like, wow, that's a cool trailer, I'm gonna buy this. And then the expansion comes out, and I have fun for three days, and then I'm back to being miserable the next the year. That's literally been the Bungie experience, dude. It's unreal how much that game grifts money out of me. Spent way too much money on that game. I think, uh, things done. I might be cooked, yeah. I, I didn't realize that that wasn't mine. Man. It wasn't my pillar that popped up with my mod. Unlucky. <laughs> Sometimes I just get pillar bad luck and it happens. Oh well. Bungie was infinitely better at Halo. Yeah, the team split in half. That was the issue. Happens all the time. Yeah, it's a great... Gotta go for now. Be home soon. I'm glad, Jade. Glad you're gonna be home soon. Thralius is the key star of Hypixel. God, no. Stop reacting after I can pillar skip 100% of the time. Yeah, I don't think I'm the key star of Hypixel. Anyway, I've been live for about an hour. Might call it a, a day. A little bit of a grind session. I know I uploaded a video earlier too, and that's got to do numbers, so. Thank you guys for uh, chilling with me. I appreciate it. I'll be back probably tomorrow. Maybe not. Um, we'll see. Unless they, you know, do something tomorrow. If there's an update, I'll be live or, or make a video or something. Anyway, I appreciate you guys coming out here. So, yeah. Thank you. And have a good day. And... Well, that's actually me invisible. Hold on. Let me just... Alright, yeah. Bye-bye. Woohoo. See you guys. Yeah.